Incoming transmission from Nogaria. Request denied. Setting new course for Kalispin. Many decisions lie ahead. None of them easy. Everybody. My name is Brian. We are playing some Mass Effect. We are finally returning with Mass Effect. I don't know how many weeks it's been since the Mass Effect. I know it's been three months that I started Road to Mass Effect uh, 1, remote Road to Mass Effect 4 on Vernon mode, aka hard mode. So right now, I'm gonna do another Let's Play on Insanity mode. I promise you guys I'll do on Insanity playthrough, but you know, didn't get the chance to do it, but now I am. So, let's get started. And I'm not gonna look. Previous video, previous video, I kind of choose evil and kind of good stuff at the same time. Uh, right now, I'm gonna. This is gonna be a good playthrough. Like, I'm fully making the good choices, making everything good. I'm gonna get the Paragon all the way up. I think I'm gonna say it. Paragon, Paragon, blah, 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 whatever. And I'm gonna make another playthrough on Mass Effect Evil. One, this is gonna be on the Saturn mode on good. The other mode on Saturn Evil. So this is gonna be like a good version of the Shepherd. So, yeah, uh, let us start a new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Okay. <laughs> Classified information. So I completed the game two times. That's the kind of complete. I have to be on hardcore mode so I could play it <laughs> on Saturday mode. Establish a secure connection. Okay. Secure connection confirmed. I feel so awesome. So this is kind of selecting an X69 D. So as you can see. These are two p. Oh, I finished on the same, on the same level. 36, 36. That's actually kind of cool. This is my old one. I'm not gonna use the old, any of the old ones. Oh, what I do? Classified information. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna choose a different character. I'm not gonna choose the di uh, the same character I chose last time. So. Secure connection confirmed. All right. We're good. Great new ID. Uh, custom mail. So. On this playthrough, I'm gonna play as a male. On the second playthrough, on evil, I'm gonna play as a female. You know, a little, a little, a uh, little bossy dog female. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying not to cuss in this playthrough, but we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna call him a custom male. Uh, we're not gonna call him John Shepard. I'm not gonna call him Brian Shepard either. We're gonna call him, um, what should we call him, guys? Huh? What's a good name? Uh, ah, what the hell? Let's just call him Brian. That's like the only good name I have right now. <laughs> Ryan. So we got John Shepard, but I'm just gonna steal from freaking uh, Master Chief. So. Please log <laughs> in to access your profile. Ryan Junior Shepard the <laughs> Third. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Prior to send. All right. Oh my God, that technology though. <laughs> uh oh. Is it because I'm Mexican? Damn it. <laughs> All right. Do, 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 do. Please reconstruct. Reconstruct profile. We're gonna still be an Earthborn. Confirm psychological. We're gonna be a war hero on the evil. I'm gonna choose that. So I'm gonna be a war hero. Confirm. And we're still gonna be the soldier because the soldier I'm kind of good at. The other ones, I don't. I don't know because I can't really aim. When I choose like a gun, like a different, like a shotgun, or one of these classes. I can't aim, I could just shoot, so I don't really like that. I'm stuck with the soldier. Maybe for the evil playthrough I might choose another one. We'll see. I'm stuck stick switch. Uh stick with this. Uh change appearance. I'm gonna change the appearance. Oh my god. This is kinda like the facial I choose for my normal playthrough, but we're gonna choose a different one. You look Asian. You look I don't know. You look black. <laughs> hmm. I think we'll keep this guy anymore. Whoa, white guy. Black guy. Weird guy. Oh my god, he got like his face is smashed. Oh, <laughs> he got smacked by something. Alright, I'm gonna stick where, where is that? Yeah, stick with this guy. I'll just change his face. Hmm. That looks normal. 
Uh, we might stick with that one. I stick with this one. So I could skip this, but if I do, uh, it's gonna have like audio problems, and I don't want to risk the audio problems. So I'm just gonna <laughs> let you guys see this. I'll put a, um, a number if you guys want to skip this. I'm gonna put a number of how to skip this, so don't worry. We're gonna keep. I think that's kind of like my skin color. Yeah, we'll see. That's none. Oh my god! I'm gonna keep none. <laughs> Scars. Uh, yeah, let's give him a scar. The scar makes him makes every war. That's why I choose last time. I'm not gonna choose that. I'm gonna choose. Um, hmm. I don't. That one we could do. Oh, uh, is there something else? No. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. We find. I'm. I think I'm, I'm like this one. I'm gonna dig with this one. All right. Head. Nick. Nick. Look fat. <laughs> so skinny. Just give him at least a little fatness. I want to be that fake. <laughs> Face size. Yeah, that's okay there. Cheek width. Do my taxes, guys. <laughs> Do my taxes. Uh, let's give him like right there. Cheek bumps. We'll put a nun. Stick him out there. Yeah, that's good right there. Cheek. Hmm. See right there. Ear size. Small ears, guys, or big ears. Nah, we'll leave it like right there. Like have it all the way back. I don't like them to be like this. Oh <laughs> no no. I'm gonna leave them like there we go. I, don't, I like them like that. Eyes, we're gonna eyes shape. Uh, I don't know. I think we might stick with these eyes. Let's just see what kind of eyes they have. Uh, else they have. Hmm. That those eyes might do, probably. Hmm. It looks like he's closing. I don't know. I think I might just keep. I'm gonna keep with this one. Yeah, hold up. Yeah. Yeah, I should keep it with this one. I'm gonna keep it. I height. Whoa. There you go. That's perfect. I width. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, it doesn't go that wide, damn it. <laughs> I doubt they could go that a lot, a whole lot wide. But no, I can't. <laughs> That's what I like to do. I kind of like when customization. I like to mess with them so they make them look like a funny face. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. Um, brows. Hmm. I'm a little up. Brow height. Slow, low, high, high, high. In the middle. We're gonna give them a. Hmm. Ooh, blue color. Blue eyes. Look those eyes. Green eyes. Look at the blue eyes. It's blue. There we go with that. It's pretty cool. Jaw. Chin height. Leave it right there. So, uh, if you guys are new, if you guys are barely watching this for the first time, my first, if you guys, this is like the first video you guys are watching my channel, uh, my name is Brian. I play, if you guys don't know me, I play on the hardest difficulty levels on any game, like right now. As you can see on the first time I played Mass Effect, I played on Vernon mode, hard mode. It's kind of do with any game, on any game. And that's what I completely do on my channel. I play hardcore games, hardcore difficulty levels. That's what I do. If you guys like that, if you guys want to see more, uh, hit that subscribe button, guys. And you know, and just help me and support me on this channel. Let me see what they got here. And we'll put it out a little, not that, but we put it in. That mouth though, <laughs> mouth lip size. Want to kiss now? <laughs> I'm still gonna keep like the same. I know this in my normal playthrough. I did keep um. I did. Uh, I am gonna might keep some stuff. But I might just change some stuff. You know, I'm gonna change the stuff. I like the nose. Let's keep the nose. I like the nose. Uh, put it a little low. Oh wait, that's it. Let's keep it there. So I am gonna kind of keep the same choices I chose on my. Not all the same. 
beard. I'm not sure. Should we give him a beard or should we give him no beard? Like a no beard. Brow. Uh, no brow. Should we go no brow? Uh, let's keep with the one I had. This one. Hair. <laughs> That's kind of my hairstyle, but I, I kind of have more hair on the sides. I have more hair. That's just on the top. That's kind of bald. That's kind of the hair I had. Huh. I think we might keep this one. Probably. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's keep it that way. Hair color. I'm gonna keep it black. Uh, keep it like a little. And let's keep it like that color. Uh, I'm not sure if we should give him a brand, guys. Should we give him a beard? I'm not sure. Hmm. Give him that. I don't know, guys. <laughs> Hold up. Oh. Um. Just, I just look weird with that, so no, thank you. I'm not gonna put none. Uh, yeah, I think that's it, guys. I'm no beard guy. No, my, that's just my guy. So, let us do this. Profile reconstruction complete. All right. Name: Brian Shepard, Earthborn War Hero Soldier. Let us continue. Oh, wow, that took 11 minutes. Let's go. Let's start, guys. The, the insanity. Insanity mode. This is kind of like the last mode. Must be unlocked. All enemies scale up to rating player. So we kind of started a new one. So let us do this, guys. I'm ready. Insanity mode. Here we go. Don't worry. I'm used to Mass Effect, guys. So I'm not going to die rapidly. Trust me. I'm not. All right. And thank you for support, you guys. Give me for the channel. Hope you guys will enjoy. And yeah. Let's go. Good playthrough here. A nice good playthrough. Let's go. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He proved himself during the Blitz. He held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason the listing was still stand. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. The year 2148 explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space civilization in the caves. Follow all these mysterious artifacts revealed the starting of a new technology. And they may travel further for the stars based on the Italian technology was forcing the control and very forever in space of time. They call it the greatest discovery in human history. Civilization in the, in the galaxy called it. Called it Mass Effect. I kind of messed up on the words behind. Like, <laughs> I don't know how freaking Eminem or Mac no more just rap really fast. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah. Hello? Commander? I'm a commander. Hell yeah. Old man. <laughs> Those guns though. That ass. <laughs> We had that right here, right now, in the future, <laughs> like in freaking 21, you know. Check. My Navigation. God. Check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. I do not understand you. <laughs> 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. You look awesome. Still look awesome. I hate that guy. I'm sure he hates you too. Nihilus gave you a compliment, so you hate him. 
You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Ha. Uh. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> Alright, so we got Paragon. So, I uh, got no uh, Renegade. I think that's how you say it. Renegade. So I'm going to try to get the Paragon all the way up and no Renegade. So let's try to we could do that. We're gonna upgrade uh, this is right here. Why not upgrade my freaking okay, the pistols, assault rifles, and pistols? There we go. <laughs> Level one. I'm such a noob. All right, let's get to it. So I'm gonna. Yeah, bro. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering it didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Do you have a problem with the Captain? I meant to no, pick the, the top one, but I missed. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. What do you know about the stealth system? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheap, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. Pretty obvious the shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My That's racist. My grandfather fought in the first contact <laughs> war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. <laughs> We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. All right. I grew up on East Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. But it's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. You're right. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take... What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. Me too. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission. No, you're still alive. You're breathing, so. Spectre on board. 
What can you tell me about Nile? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others rigid. will blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. Oh, okay. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres have well, any official power. I like it. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. I know. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with the development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the Peaceful. outskirts of the colony. Oh, and that sounds boring. <laughs> this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. I know. <laughs> this is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. Better not. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Gee, Paragon plus two. So basically, we got four. We got we got four Paragon, right? Yeah, four. I'm guessing that all of it combined is a hundred. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> That's a fail. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Are you saying we're weak? <laughs> I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. Mm -hmm. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down to the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. All right, Kit David. <laughs> a research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Protean. I thought the Proteans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Protean technology. Alright. This is Big Ship. The last time Bigger than made your discovery D? Like this, it jumped out with technology <laughs> what for D? over 200 years. <laughs> Sorry. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. All Obviously, right. this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why do we do a Council? It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. 
Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. Mm -hmm. The Alliance has been pushing. Even in the bathroom, we're not taking a dump. He's right the there. <laughs> wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. I know. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. All right. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Let's go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Mm -mm. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Hey, Ashley. How are you? Long time no see, huh? <laughs> Whoa, it's freaking... What's that movie called? Carver Field. No, not Carver Field. That's a that's the movie called. Crawford Field! No! It's freaking. What's it called? It's Chronicles! Oh my god, what the hell? Andrew's going crazy! Andrew's going crazy! Uh oh. Chronicles stuff again! No! Traffic at all. It just goes dead. It's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Damn. It's a hand. Status report. <laughs> 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Yay. A small spike. No, that's bad. Quickly, without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Alright, let's do this. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. We're going in. We're going in hard. Hard, hard. I'm sorry. Just I'm really sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Lone Wolf, I like you. <laughs> Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Thank you. All right. I'm saving. All right, guys. So we kind of, as you all know, I kind of make my videos the first part 20 minutes or longer. I have no idea. Alright, I'm not going to hurt them because I don't want to be evil. So guys, uh, I'm going to end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, kind of the intro there, guys. The new me. I just showed you the new me. Let's just take the helmet off to view the old me. Oh, not you. Me. There we go. The new me. So guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you guys want to see more from Mass Effect. Because this is on Insanity Mode. Uh, um, I'm going to have a fun-ass time playing this again because... Playing it a second time was awesome, and I just had I had a bunch of fun with this game. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to see what you guys want to see more Mass Effect, and let's just hmm. press. Yep, I know, I know. All right, Ew. all right. I'm just gonna go on and do this like one time. Then we just fight those little drone guys. Then we'll be done there. I'm gonna upgrade your decryption to upgrade that.
I'm gonna upgrade your. Where's it? Alright, good. Jinkies. Uh, uh, this, I don't really. It doesn't matter for you, but. Because some. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna sell rifles. <laughs> just saying, this is gonna matter. Just saying. Alright. Alright, let's go. I know how to play. Let's go. I'm gonna finish off the video after we finish this part. Smell robots. <laughs> oh, he got shot at. Oh, I saw when he got shot right in the penis. Oh, that's gotta suck. It's gotta suck really bad. Come on. Uh, I got this guy. I got this guy. You suck at shooting. Uh, saw me shot that guy. Awesome. Jenkins, no. He's dead. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, man. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Alright. Ooh. Level up already. So, guys, I'm gonna pause it here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna upgrade that. And combat armor shields up. There you go. So, guys. Oh, wait. I'm gonna upgrade uh, Lenko's. Hmm. So if the Christian want to upgrade that a lot, and why not throw? So yeah, thank you guys for all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Mass Effect on Insanity Mode. Bye guys.